Will here, developer of light meter tools, and I want to briefly go over the two meters available in my application, as well as show how to use new interface. Those two meters are the sensor meter, which measures incident light using the built-in light sensor in most Android devices, and the camera meter, which now spot meters reflected light on most Android devices. The sensor meter uses the built-in light sensor, which is located on the top of the screen of most phones, usually in the top left across from the front facing camera. It is very important that you point the sensor directly at the light source, as it doesn't measure off angles well. This takes a little bit of practice, but after that you will be able to hit the spot every time. Essentially, you just want to maximize the reading from the sensor. You can start stop metering using either the center button or the volume buttons. As you can see, I've drastically changed the layout. Hopefully this new layout is a bit clearer than the old. The value being calculated is highlighted in light purple, while the other values are medium and dark purple. To select the value to calculate for, long press on the value. Like before, to change one of the values, touch the value and a dialog screen will appear. You can see here we're calculating for shutter speed, and to change our shutter speed, we're changing our ISO rating. Returning to the home screen, next we're going to discuss the changes I made to the camera meter. The controls are exactly the same across the meters, including the manual meter and the exposure average controls. Here we're calculating for ISO, and I would like to point out the changes made to the preview window. On newer devices, the light meter is now able to live meter. Both my Galaxy Nexus and Nexus 4 are able to meter with only the slightest preview lag visible. Older devices will be tested by the app, and if the response rate is too low, will default to the old style of metering controlled by a button press. This option is also available in the preferences menu. The green circle bottom right on the preview screen either starts and stops the live preview or, with the old style of metering, captures a reading. For devices that support camera zoom, a zoom bar shown here will show up on the left side of the preview. This allows you to move closer to the media area. This is a typical Android slider. The most exciting new feature for me is the ability to spot meter. This is done by touching anywhere on the preview screen not occupied by the green circle or the zoom control. Almost every device that supports the camera meter will support this new feature, which allows fine-tuned control over the meter area. I've added backwards compatibility to devices that don't have this feature natively. Besides the live meter, the zoom and the spot meter, the camera meter should behave exactly the same as in older versions. Frame your subject in the preview screen and hit the green button when you want to either stop the live preview or capture a reading. Then change the other values to your heart's content. One of the beauties of the live meter feature is that your captured meter, including the metered area, will stay in the preview until metering is started again, so you know exactly what you have metered. I have tested both meters against the several cameras I own, and they both continue to be accurate. By far, the camera meter is greatly improved and even tends to be less likely to be confused and give a bad reading by spot metering than my DSLRs. I hope you enjoy the app. If you have any questions at all, please contact me using the button in the Light Meter Tools main menu. I have already talked to hundreds of you and love to hear back from even more. Thanks for watching.